What is up, everybody? This is Esox33 here with the fifth fifth video on our castle. We are going to be working on the main gate in this video. It is probably going to be a two or three part tutorial. It is a pretty complicated gate. Hopefully, we can get it without confusing you too much. But really quick, this is what you should have right now. And as you probably notice, there is that space in between the tower and the wall. All we do or all we're going to do here is just fill it in with stone brick all the way up just like that and then we just added one of the little windows in there you just put the cobblestone stairs all around it just like this and then you can throw the what? I think we used something else besides glass okay let me just go double check what I used on the other ones quick yeah, iron bars. Okay. Thought I had it, just had to make sure. Alright. Then if you want, just go look at that quick. That's all we did. I mean, you could all probably... Right, now what you want to do is go down by that cobblestone pillar in the back here and place one stone brick behind it. Or place two, actually, behind it. Too tall, I'm sorry, not too back. And then you're going to place one right kitty corner to that just like that and place another one next to it and one more just like that now what you want to do is those are too high right now just extend them another four so they're six high all just like that alright then what you want to do is go three blocks up on the third black block place stone brick stairs on the cobblestone pillar and you're in place two of them side by side then right above the second one you want to place two cobblestone blocks right on top of it sorry then a uh, stone brick stair facing towards the tower on that and behind that you can put another stone brick and then behind the stair itself you can put another stone brick alright now under the underneath the stone brick right behind the stair you place a cobblestone stair upside down and then you leave a space of one and place an upright cobblestone stair right connected to the other stone brick stairs and then two cobblestones underneath that and then a cobblestone stair in front of those pillars or in front of that pillar sorry and then you can just fill in behind that you can just fill that in with cobblestone just so you don't see any gap there all right now the next thing you're going to want to do is right next to that last stair you place, just place two cobblestone uh, bricks right on top of each other and a cobblestone stair facing towards the tower again on that. Then behind that stair you're going to place a stone brick. Then you're going to just want to follow those stone bricks two more up and place a cobblestone brick on top of that with a cobblestone stair alright and then right next to that stair you can place another stone brick on both sides of it actually and then you're just going to follow that last stone brick I just placed just follow it all the way down to the ground alright let me just check this out quick see where I am at Alright, now if you want to grab your uh, nether rack quick, what you're going to want to do is inside of that little opening where the two cobblestone stairs are, you can break that cobblestone and put a nether rack and then use your flint and steel to start that on fire. I am sorry about the graphics. I'm sure yours will look better. <laughs> Alright, now next to that... Okay, I'm sorry. You're going to want to place a cobblestone right right here. 
and you're just going to go one more up with that, and on the bottom side of those, you want to place the cobblestone facing away from the tower, and on the top side, you want one facing the tower. Then right behind that, you want an upside down cobblestone stair, and then an upright cobble, or I'm sorry, just a cobblestone brick, then a cobblestone stair facing, and then an upside down one, an upright one. Then what we do is do a cobblestone stair, upside down cobblestone stair, but facing out towards the, away from the castle, I guess, and then a upright one right above that. And a upside down one right next to that, and then another upright one. Then underneath it, you just want to do the same thing but opposite, so you're going to do it so it staggers it back and forth like that. Alright, then up to the upper left cobblestone stair right there, what you want to do is right next to that, do another upside down one to an upright to an upside down. Then just if you want to really quick fill in the back of that, it's just gonna be all co or stone bricks, just right behind those stairs. Just fill her in quick. You didn't need that extra one up there. I'm sorry. All right. Now that we got that, behind that last cobblestone stair that you just placed, right above it, but one behind it, you want an upright cobblestone stair. And then right next to that, an upside down one. Then above that, right on top of it, would be an upright stair. And then an upside down stone brick stair, right next to that. You did tape. That's just supposed to be a, you know, because it's upside down right here, right next to it. Because <laughs> you're so stupid. Yeah. I'm sorry, I had a big leg. That leg, I just had to cut forward quick. Now. Um, where were we? All right, right above that uh, stone brick stair, you're just going to place a stone brick. Then right next to that stone brick stair, you want to place an upside down stone brick stair with an up or an upside down. I'm sorry, an upright cobblestone stair, and then if you wanted to behind that quick. Actually, I'm sorry. In front of that, what you're going to want to do is put a cobblestone stair facing the uh, the tower, but one down. I'm sorry. All right, and then sorry, it's I got. I'm looking at the one we have done it really complicated. At least it looks complicated when you're trying to copy and paste it onto something else. Alright, now behind that cobblestone stair you just place, you want to just place a cobblestone brick. Or stair, I guess it really doesn't matter. You can do whatever you want. And then and if you see that gap right there, you just place a stone brick or whatever you want behind there. Just, just kind of fill it in. So that is what you should have right now. I know there's that big gap right next to it. I will try to get that fixed really quick for you. Now if you go down to that stone brick stair right here, what you're going to want to do is go two behind. So that block right there. you're going to want to place uh, spruce wood. And just bring that up, I think it was 27, 26 total, that you're going to want that from the very bottom, though, counting the stone bricks as well. You'd want to bring that up 26 blocks. Oh, God. 
Um, when you have that fire too, if you want to take out stone bricks quick, you want to cover it so it doesn't start the um, spruce wood or the oak wood we're using on this so it doesn't start that on fire. Just like that. Alright, now you would want to count from the very bottom. Just count up 26 total. Then you just want to keep placing these spruce wood all the way up. Alright, and then what you're going to do is take your stone brick out and just one in front of those. You're going to bring the stone brick all the way up, just the exact same height. build them up here and want to do that on both sides just like that and then bring the other side up quick all right now let's look at that quick let's go let me compare it all right that's looking right there we go now on the very bottom, what you would want to do is take out your iron bars and then just fill in that gap between those just like that. And then if you want, you can dig a little area cuz I'm going to you end up putting water in there. And then you just want to put water in the back uh behind the bars. In that upper stone brick spot right there. Put some water. Just right there and there. Just got some grass quick so it doesn't look bad. Water's a lot more clear on this, you can actually see through it. Alright, that is it for right now. There is a lot. We do get more to that eventually, but it'll it feeds into a big moat and all that. But we'll get into that a little more later. All right. Now, what you want to do is, if you go up to that open gap right there, you're gonna want to right where you have that last cobblestone stair. You're gonna want to go up two and put an upside down one, and then you're gonna do the nether rack with the fire right behind that. And make sure you enclose it again, otherwise the uh, oak wood will start on fire again, as we saw earlier in the video. There we go. And then next to these you want to place a uh, stone brick pillar or stone bricks so it's even with that cobblestone upside down cobblestone stair then you're just going to place a stone brick stair facing the tower right on top of that and then on top of that upside down cobblestone stair you're going to place three stone bricks actually four stone bricks and then put a stone brick right in front of that oh boy we must have missed something Let me double check this back quick, see what was making it catch on fire. Hopefully that does it. I don't know why it's catching on fire on this one. Was not a problem on the PlayStation 3. Hopefully that was it. Alright. Now that is what we should have. Oh my god, why is it doing this? Okay. Oh boy. Alright, alright. 
I'm sorry. Just making it. Right. Just keep I'm sorry, I had to cut again. I'm just trying to make sure everything was right. Now, what you want to do is on the very top, just place an upside down stone stair. And then you can place the water right underneath that. Hopefully, that takes care of the fire spreading onto it. Alright. Now what we want to do is if you go back down to the bottom, where are we at for this? Alright, next to these last or cobblestone stairs that you place, you want to place a cobblestone stair facing away from the tower. And then right under that, an upside down one. Then right in front of that upside down, just place another cobblestone stair. And then underneath that cobblestone stair, you want to place a cobblestone brick. Then an upside down cobblestone stair under that brick. And then right in front of that, a cobblestone stair. And then two cobblestone bricks underneath that. And an upside down cobblestone stair underneath that last brick to an upright one behind or in front of that. And then two uh, cobblestone bricks right to the ground. Then you're going to place a cobblestone stair in the inside of the archway facing out away just like that. Yeah, You can do one on the other side too. I forgot to do that. Alright, now where are we at? Now behind that cobblestone stair that you just placed in the middle, you want to place a two stone or a stone brick right behind it. Just like that. Stone brick on top of that to uh, upside down cobblestone stair. That is right on that stone brick like that, I'm sorry. Then two cobblestone bricks. Oh, I'm, and this is going to be a depth of two. Probably shouldn't mention that so you know what I'm doing. And then on top of those uh, cobblestone bricks, you're going to place another stone brick. And then... I'm sorry, not a stone brick. You want to place another cobblestone, then a stone brick. Like that, I'm sorry. And then you're going to place an up, two up, or an upside down cobblestone stair. Just like that, and then a cobblestone brick right above those to a stone brick up on top of those cobblestone stairs. And then upside down cobblestone stairs. And then right above those, it looks like we do a stone brick. And then a cobblestone behind that stone brick. And then you're just going to do the exact same design going down the other way. Do it, do it, do it fast. <laughs> You're gonna do the same design, just kind of copy and paste it onto the other side, just like so. Stone brick right there. Just gotta pretty much just look at it and do the same design on the other side. It's not too complicated and then whenever you have those spaces you just want to put the stone brick behind them to fill it in is what you should right, have. So that is what it should look like. Now what you want to do is if you go to the very bottom right here you can place a stone brick behind that then an, another stone brick and an upside down stair right in front of that. Then two stone bricks on top of that stair to another up or three stone bricks sorry and then an upside down stair on that two stone bricks on that one 
and on top of the sec or in front of the second one another upside down stair. Then what you want to do is one stone brick on top of that and then a stone brick upside down stone brick stair facing out of the castle with a stone brick on that side and they're just going to repeat the same pattern down just let you watch as I do it in case you miss something alright now that we got that done what you want to do is just go one more behind that and place an upside down stone brick stair one in front of that last uh, stone brick one block up right there then a s three stone bricks on top of that one and on that third one you're going to place an upside down stone brick stair with two stone bricks in front of that and on this second one an upside down stone brick stair and then one on top of that and another upside down stone brick stair that faces out of the castle and I will have to figure something out with that spruce wood on this just like that and then just repeat it on the other side trying to think what we could what I could use for that over there might use like nether or not nether nether brick or something like that if you have any any thoughts what might look better than this oak wood let me know in the comments for now I think I'm just gonna put on let me look at all the blocks quick what we got here I think I want something darker. Oh, maybe the black of quartz. Maybe I'll use that for now. If you have you have a better thought for it, though, let me know in the comments. I'd like to know. Didn't have this problem on the PlayStation with that wood catching on fire. Hoping the water was gonna stop it, but I think I think the quartz might look pretty cool. Give it more of a shine, kind of make the water pop out since it's so. A lot more visible on this one. Let me just check this out quick then in front. redstone lamps sorry I was not expecting this problem I'm trying to make it look good to me now just a couple different designs quick kind of doing a let's build it's definitely be turning into one soon we're about halfway caught up to where we were yeah I think I think I like that I'll keep the Keep them redstone lamps kind of staggered like that for now. But back to the archway now that I'm done getting sidetracked. There is just one more level and what you want to do is behind that stone brick just place three uh, cobblestone bricks and on the third one the upside down cobblestone stair. Two cobblestone bricks on top of that. And on that second one another upside down cobblestone stair then a one on top and then just the upside down one right in the middle of those two uh, cobblestone bricks and then just repeat
repeat that pattern on the other side. Just let you watch quick in case you missed it again. All right, and that right there is the completed archway. I really, really like this archway. I think it has a lot of detail in it. Um, I will really quick just show you or copy and paste what I did on the other side of the archway onto the next side. Um, just if you need to see how to do it again, just watch watch the beginning of this video. And we will be back in the next video and we are going to do the upper half of the, the main gate. If you guys want me to post a video on how to do the right side of this, just post it in the comments, let me know I can do it, but it's the exact same as the other one. And we will be back next time with the upper half. Please like and subscribe.